Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video and I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. It means so much. Please be sure that you like, share, and subscribe if you like the message of the video. So today's video, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about um, being signs if you are HSP. And it, for those of you that don't know um, what HSP is, is highly sensitive person. And this is something that I actually um, just discovered that I was recently. I knew that I was an empath, but I started to do more research on um, personalities and um, different things like that. And just different things that I've experienced recently and just understanding myself. Um, I definitely think that I'm HSP. Um, and like I said on the last video, I was kind of ashamed to acknowledge that just because, you know, when people think of emotions and sensitivities, they're like, oh, that's weak and da 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 da. But honestly, I think that it's a good thing um, if you can really uh, express how you feel or share an emotion. But um, I don't know why society thinks that it's a bad thing. But anyway, so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so some signs, if you are HSP, just give me one second, you guys, let's see here, so um, you're extra sensitive, um, that's definitely something that I've struggled with my whole life, um, like I said in the other video, people always told me growing up, um, you're too sensitive, you need to have thick skin, um, you need to change who you are, don't feel that deeply, um, don't honor like how you feel you know that's not the way to go about things especially from my, my aunt told me I remember when I lived with her there were I would feel certain things and I would feel like I didn't want to do a certain thing and she'd be like oh well well don't feel that way like you need to do this and you need to do that and that was totally wrong so she was basically teaching me not to honor my feelings and go with my intuition so she was training me to um do to go against my own gut and I think actually that's how a lot of um, victims of narcissistic abuse, why they stay in it so long, because they're feeling a certain way. They know that they need to go away, but since they've been taught to ignore that, then they stay. So that I thought that's pretty deep, too. Um, and then another thing is um, you tend to feel deeply uh, than others. Like I mentioned that um, you just, let's say if you're in a relationship or something like that, you probably care a little bit more for that person than normal, or you just have this deep, intense feelings and you just can't control it. And this is something that I'm working on as well as learning how to master my emotions, master my feelings and not kind of be a little bit more detached because sometimes I just, I can't help it. Like that's just how I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think like God just made me that way. But I'm learning how to adjust and deal with that. And then another way to tell if you're HSP is um, if you are overwhelmed, anxious, and have a lot of anxiety. Um, I don't know, like a lot of um, HSPs, we don't uh, like big crowds. We don't like loud noises, unless it's music. <laughs> um, we like to if we are interacting with people we like it to be like one-on-one -on -one or just small groups because we're f taking on the energies and the feelings of other people's like kind of like how empaths are but um hsps is like kind of overly taking on what other people are thinking what they're feeling and i remember like when i lived in la like how overwhelmed i would be all the time because there's tons of people that live in LA. I don't know if any of you guys ever been there. I lived there for 11 years. The first five years I lived in Orange County, so it wasn't as bad. But then I lived in Long Beach, and that was pretty so-so. But Los Angeles, the city is crazy packed. Tons of people going everywhere. The traffic, people are in a hurry constantly, honking their horns. And it's just people are just it's crazy and for me that's just too much like I need to be somewhere where it's a little bit more laid-back peaceful nature -y, which is why um, I'm in Jamaica right now because I feel like I could definitely just kind of get away from that for a while you know and then um, have some peace of mind and then um, you hate too much attention and this is actually something that I've seen on the video and it said like how a lot of HSPs, we were taught that, you know, if you get too much attention, that it's a bad thing. And I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, but me personally, I just, I don't know. I've just never been the type of person that wanted that much attention. I just, and I don't necessarily, maybe I probably thought it was a bad thing or maybe, you know, growing up, 
you know, I, I think I was taught like other people were important to me. I think every, you know, it just depends on the, if your household whole was dysfunctional, but, um, yeah, I probably was taught that having too much attention was a bad thing, but I just know growing up, I just, <laughs> my cousin, I remember, even though I'm no longer talking to her, but she would say that I would only talk to my mom, my dad, and my brother, and that was it. Like, anybody else, I would, like, it would take me more time to get to know them and open up, but I was only, like, cool and, like, willing to talk to, like, my family. That was it. And um, that's kind of, like, how a lot of HSPs are. But um, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are an HSP and you need some advice or help on how to deal with it, hit me up. And I can give you guys some tips and some strategies. Um, like I said, I'm still studying this as well. It's like definitely a journey. Um, I just, being sensitive, like I said, was something that I was ashamed of, feeling the feelings that I feel. And I felt like a lot of my friends couldn't really relate because I remember I would tell them certain things. And shout out to them if they're watching. <laughs> I just remember that certain situations I would tell them about, they couldn't understand why I was so attached, why I was overanalyzing it as much as I was, or why I couldn't I just let it go. It was because I was so deeply immersed with what was going on, and that's HSP. <laughs> but it's all good. Like I said, I'm working on it. Um, empathy to all you guys that are out there that are HSPs, empaths, all that light workers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, please be sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.